Welcome back to Football Daily for this week's Transfer Talk, where we round up the hottest gossip and biggest news from the greatest league in the world. We start this week with a player who is one of the greatest Premier League exports of the past decade, but since leaving has struggled to find form. Eden Hazard left Chelsea for Real Madrid in 2019 after seven years at Stamford Bridge, in which he contributed 202 goals in 352 matches across all competitions. During his time in West London, the Belgian would win two Premier League titles, two Europa League crowns and an FA Cup. But the winger's time in Madrid has hardly gone to plan since his 115 million euro switch, having missed 58 of a possible 113 matches due to injury. Having racked up just over 2,800 minutes in that time, Hazard's total time on the pitch has amounted to little over a quarter of the available minutes, with just five goals and nine assists to show for his reported 20 million euro annual salary. And under Carlo Angelotti, his patchy form has continued, with the 30-year-old just as likely to appear from the bench as he is to start, with just one assist to show for 382 minutes of game time. With Hazard's contract set to guzzle some €400,000 a week between now and its expiration in 2024, it comes as no surprise that Los Blancos are open to shifting their record signing. Fortunately though for Hazard, there could be an escape route, and wouldn't you just know it, it could come in the form of a return to Chelsea. According to Spanish outlet El Nacional, Blues owner Roman Abramovich has already held preliminary informal talks with his Real Madrid counterpart Florentino Perez. However, the current Champions League holders would be unwilling to top £35 million in order to facilitate a move, which coincidentally was around the same figure they paid Lille for a 21-year-old Eden Hazard back in 2012. But as you'd also expect, Perez wants to maximise what he gets, and it's suggested he could look to include Rhys James in any deal. With Angelotti currently splitting time at right back between converted winger Lucas Vazquez and the often injured Danny Carvajal, James could prove the perfect replacement. The 21-year-old, valued at around £40 million, is also splitting game time in his position, having only featured for half the available minutes this season. However, he has been injured and has had a red card. But if this deal is even considered by Chelsea, you'd expect them to ask for Hazard and a little bit of cash, although you'd expect them to keep hold of James for their long-term future. Chelsea fans, I want to hear from you on this one. Would you welcome Eden Hazard back at the bridge? And how much would you pay for him to make it happen? As always, let us know in the comments below. To Leicester City next, but instead of them looking to sign a player to reinforce their hopes of finally returning to the Champions League, it's actually one reportedly looking for a way out. Wilfred Ndidi is said to be considering his future at the King Power Stadium following the club's underwhelming start to the 2021 season. Brendan Rodgers' side currently languish in 13th in the Premier League, with just 8 points from their opening 7 fixtures of the campaign, with Ndidi having featured in every match before picking up a hamstring injury against Burnley that could leave him sidelined for the next month. The Foxes' disappointing opening, though, hasn't deterred Manchester United, who are still looking to solve their defensive midfield issues and will make the Nigerian a prime target in January. With Declan Rice being priced at £100 million, it appears Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has identified the 24-year-old as a cheaper alternative, although Leicester will be reluctant to see him go. And still, with two and a half seasons remaining on his deal, whilst no figure has been quoted for the player, you'd anticipate Ndidi being at the top end of United's budget, if he fits in at all. The club have also been linked with Calvin Phillips in recent weeks, so United fans, we want to know who you want playing that defensive mid-role for you, in Didi, Phillips or Rice. Let me know in the comments below. And just before we move on to our next story, if you're not already subscribed to Football Daily on YouTube, then what are you doing? Go down there, press that red button, and you will not regret it. Next up, we're off to Newcastle United. The takeover has heralded a new era of hope and optimism in the North East, something probably not seen since Rafa Benitez took the manager's job at St. James's Park in 2016. And that's where we'll start this section, because as you'd expect, Steve Bruce's job is under threat now that they have new owners that actually have a bit of cash to splash around. Whilst the likes of Brendan Rodgers, Antonio Conte and Zinedine Zidane are doing the rounds, the two most likely candidates to take on the role appear to be Lucien Favre and Frank Lampard. Starting with 63-year-old Favre, the former Dortmund manager is currently out of a job following his sacking by the club in December last year. Despite that, the former Swiss international had won over 60% of his games in charge of BVB, the culmination of a career that had seen him rise from his native leagues to Hertha Berlin, Borussia Mönchengladbach 
and Nice, always winning more often than not. In fact, his overall managerial win rate is 59%, a record that over the course of a season would see a club challenging for continental competition. However, Favre did turn down the opportunity to manage Crystal Palace following Roy Hodgson's retirement at the end of last season, wary of taking control of a side in the bottom half of the Premier League table. Whilst Newcastle prospects this season aren't much different from that, the takeover no doubt makes the Magpies a far more interesting proposition. Likewise, Frank Lampard also finds himself unemployed after parting ways with Chelsea back in January. The Englishman arguably did a better job at Stamford Bridge than he was given credit for, even if the Champions League win under Thomas Tuchel seemed almost impossible with the 43-year-old at the helm. Regardless, Lampard is a big name in football and could help launch the Saudis' project on Tyneside. Of course though, with the takeover, it's easy to forget that Steve Bruce still remains the Newcastle United manager at least for now. There is far more speculation though as to who the Magpies will make a move for in January, with the new owners wanting to make a statement signing to kick their regime off in the right way. And apparently they have a hefty shortlist, or a long list really, of names that would both fit the bill and could well be available come the winter window. So let's run through these names. From the Premier League we have Manchester City's Raheem Sterling, as well as Arsenal forward duo Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexandra Lacazette. Sterling has been linked with a move away from the Etihad in recent weeks after falling out of favour with Pep Guardiola. Whilst the Gunners attempted to shop Aubameyang towards the end of the last window and Lacazette has already indicated that he will be leaving the club when the season comes to a close. Then there's PSG duo Kaylor Navas and Mauro Icardi, both victims of their own club putting their money about over the summer. Les Parisiens signed both Gianluigi Donnarumma and Lionel Messi on big deals after acquiring the pair for free. The Costa Rican stopper is still technically number one by minutes played so far, but being 12 years older than Donnarumma is not a part of their long-term future, whilst Icardi's minutes have fallen off a cliff since Messi started to feature. Real Madrid outcasts Gareth Bale and Luka Jovic also feature on the supposed shortlist. The Welshman and the Serb are 17th and 20th respectively when it comes to minutes on the pitch in La Liga under Carlo Angelotti, and Los Blancos have made no secret about trying to shift the pair, even if Jovic is insistent on staying at the Bernabeu and fighting for his place. The final two names on the list are Barcelona's Felipe Coutinho and Kingsley Coman of Bayern Munich. Again, Coutinho is a name that the Blaugrana would welcome getting off the books, thanks to his extortionate wages. His former Bayern teammate Komen is also consistently linked with a move away from Bavaria, having failed to top 1,800 minutes in league action since his arrival in 2015. Add into that Kaladu Koulibaly, who we discussed on Euro Transfer Talk yesterday, and that's quite the impression that Newcastle's new owners are trying to make. But guys, are any of these realistic for the club, and how much do you think they will cost? Is there anyone else they should target instead? Let me know down below. We round off this week's transfer talk with more rumours surrounding a favourite of Pep Guardiola's. Bernardo Silva has been said to be unhappy at the Etihad since the end of the last season, and it was believed that he could try and get a move away from the Premier League champions. AC Milan, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona were all said to be interested in the Portuguese international, but now another side has moved to the front of the queue. 27-year-old Silva is now being courted by Juventus, who were looking to improve their squad after a slow start to the Serie A campaign, which currently sees them outside any European spot in 7th place. This comes as the old lady are already looking to offload some midfielders, including both Aaron Ramsey and Weston McKennie. According to Calcio Mercato, Max Allegri would try to secure Silva on loan with an option to buy next summer, but will only make a move once they've trimmed the edges of their already sizable squad. Silva might be a key part of Pep's squad, starting all but one game in the Premier League and Champions League, but the Spanish manager did previously say he wouldn't stand in anyone's way if they wanted to leave City. Will he come to regret saying that in January? I guess we'll have to wait and see. So that was this week's Transfer Talk. What do you guys think of the rumours that we've spoken about? And have we missed any other big ones out? Please let me know in the comments below. If you want to watch more Football Daily content, click on screen right now. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.